Um, I'm Coach Becky. I'm Coach Ethan. And we are the Progressive Program Directors for the Girls Program at Mini House Gymnastics in Plymouth, Minnesota. And we are here today to talk to you about how you can practice for your balance beam and do activities for that at home. At so, home. if you've been to Mini House before, you might be wondering where we are. Where so, where's this, green floor? Right? So during this time, um, we have been doing some renovations lately over this past week, and we have some super fun things for us uh, to show you. So right now, you are getting the first look at what is going to be our new floor area, which was actually our ha uh, balance beam area. Our rec so. beam B area, yes. if that means anything to you, that's been moved to a different part of the gym. Way over there. And we built and installed a new spring floor. How bouncy. exciting, very bouncy. The carpet's so fuzzy and soft. It's brand just, new. Brand new. Brand new carpet. Oh, okay. So this is where we're gonna be doing our uh, video today for balance beam. Because at home, um, you might have a balance beam, you might not, but we're gonna show you how you can practice for beam, whether or not you have those things. So, all right. Um, so the things you'll need to participate with us or watch our video and then do what we do on your own. Um, if you have a beam, we have a beam here that we can use to demonstrate on. But if you don't have a beam, all you need is a line on the floor. So we got our nice red lines here, or just the floor itself. The line really just helps to keep you walking in a straight line. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a line on the floor at all, you can do all these skills, just trying to do your best to walk in a straight line on the floor. If you ask your parents, you could also use painter's tape or masking tape to actually place a line on the floor. Um, works best on um, hardwood floor or even carpet. Um, just make sure it's okay with them first. You can make your own beam with just some tape on the floor and you can practice it that way too. Or if you can go outside, a line on the driveway works, a line on the sidewalk, just any straight line you have. Yep, you don't need to be in a gym is what we're saying or have a beam. So. Awesome. Um, so we have a whole bunch of stuff planned to show you today, but we also have some props that we're going to use. Um, some of the props we plan on using is we have hula hoops. Lots of people have hula hoops. We got some bouncy balls. We got some animals. You might recognize these from our other video, our handstand <laughs> video. We use these same animals. Uh, we want an unsteady surface, so something you could use at home is a pillow or a couch cushion. We're in a gym, so we don't have those, but we have our foam blocks. So these will work the same just as a pillow or a couch cushion. Um, we also have a rope and some cones. Now you might not have cones, you might, um, but basically anything that you can set to the side of your beam or your line to use as props to touch. Buckets, Bucket, a, a water bottle, a you can cup, use recycling, a plastic cup, yeah, recycling, anything. anything at all. Yeah. Awesome. One of the um, balls went into the pit. Uh, I got it. Don't oh, worry. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you didn't notice that. Oh, I noticed. Coach Beck is making a mess. It's fine. He's fine. I got it. No, okay. It's not new, though. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, like we would do with any um, gymnastics or uh, any activity actually, is we need to warm up our bodies so that we're ready to go. So um, we're just gonna do a little short cardio that if you guys want, you can do with us right now, and then you'll be ready to go and awesome. practice what we're gonna do. So right. um, we're just gonna start with some jogging in place. Some high knees, get our bodies warmed up. I can't point at the ceiling. I'm feeling with the other arm. Get those arms moving. Move those arms down. Move those arms. Awesome. All right, let's do some little jumping jacks. There we can work on our shapes. Stop on our shoulders. Stop on our shoulders. Big baby ones. <laughs> All right, now we've kind of got our, our heart pumping and our body's a little warmed up. Um, now we're going to do just some basic stretches for the parts of our body that we're going to use today. Um, so mostly our arms and our legs and ankles. Yep. We can do some arm stretches. Let's do some arm circles. Forward. Mm -hmm. Very good one. Yeah. And how about some backward arm circles? When you do these at home, I mean just 10-15 seconds of arm circles. Oh is yeah. Good. Don't have to do it for too long. Back in front, back behind. Ankle stretches. All right. Um, so for these, you can sit on the floor and just sit in your. Hey, Coach Becky, what shape is this? Ooh, this is a straddle. This is ah. Uh, mm, I don't think that's quite right. It starts oh. with the letter P. 
the E. Ooh, I think it's a pike shape. Pike shape, good mm -hmm. job. So sit in your pike shape and see if you can stretch those ankles. Point, point flex. flex. Point flex. See if you can do some circles, roll them out sideways. How about the other direction? Ooh, I like it, roll them in. See if you can point one, flex one. Ooh, I can feel that stretch on the other <laughs> finger. And switch. No. <laughs> no. If it's easy, try see if you can get your toes to touch the floor mm -hmm. on the other side. That makes it a little harder. I don't think that's possible. You're so me. close. You're so close. Just a little more practice. Just a little more? All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> All right. Then you can pull up one ankle and let's roll it out with our foot. Roll it out with your foot? You're rolling with your foot with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and let's do the other one. Roll out your hand with your foot. <laughs> you mean roll out your foot with your hand? Yes. <laughs> All right, then let's draw your name. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Awesome. All right, so next we're gonna work on some 
some um, walking skills, which is to warm up our balance beam. So um, one of us will show it on a line, the other one will show it on a beam. So depending on what you have, we will do that. Either way, awesome. All right, so we're gonna hop on the beam. Let's start on this. And do you wanna be behind me oh. or oh. in front of me? It doesn't really matter. We can trade spots. All right, we are gonna start with walking forwards, arms up in letter I, just flat feet. We're gonna walk forward. Try to keep your feet on your knees or your line the whole time. And then once we do about eight steps, we're gonna walk backwards. Ooh, backwards. Maybe it's one Super close. Oh, I'm off again. Oh, I fell to my doom. Oh, <laughs> oh not you too. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna try that in. Let's do it. So now that we've done our practices, 
Um, a lot of those things you can do as holds too, um, which we're gonna kind of show as the activities, but if you wanted to practice them by yourself too, you can take well, the positions and the balances that we just did. You can try, how long can you hold your passe hold? Can you hold it for how old you are? Three, four, five, five. Oh, so close. That's how old I am, so it's fine. So, yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm after around 12. You're 12. Yeah, I'm 12. Yeah. Um, you're just six and a half. Yes. Or are you seven yet? Nope, six and a half, and my half birthday was in February. Got it, okay, yep. sounds good. I'm sorry, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> I, I should have gotten you a gift for your half birthday. <laughs> okay, I just cried for a week about it, but that's fine. No! <laughs> All right, so these activities you can do on the beam, you can either do by yourself, a lot of them you can do all by yourself, or if you have someone, a brother, sister, friend, parent, you could do them with, those work too. All right. Awesome, thank you, Coach Becky. All right, so our first one that we're gonna do is, you are kind of, you're new with the partner, but you also can do it by yourself, this is kind of tricky. You're gonna try to bounce the ball in the game, oh, and you're gonna try to catch it. I would see this catch. Oh, if you're on a low beam, oh no! If you're on a low beam, can you bounce it on the side and catch it?
really anything. Um, tissues. Yeah, tissues. Um, towels. Whatever. Towel, okay. Yeah, we'll we'll find All right, we're gonna try to balance on our block. We're gonna see if we can toss these to each other. We might be a little close, but that's okay. Woo! Oh, are we doing one hand? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just had that's an assist. <laughs> Alley you the scarf. Woo! And one more time. Okay, then you can try that. You can try it on one foot. Ooh, on see one if we can foot. stay balanced. Go! Oh sorry, I didn't count. I didn't count. It's okay. When you have a partner, it's helpful <laughs> if you guys count together. Ready? Count at the same time. Three. Two, this is really hard right now. Three, two, one. That was a really good Here, catch this coach, Becky. Here you go. She went to I'm just worried about myself here. Mm. I caught mine. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Cool. Let's see what else. So, you could try these activities like tossing and catching. Um, like we said, on a beam, you could do that on a different surface. Um, whatever you wanted to do. So, we got some stuffed animals here. I know you're more of a cat person, so okay. we got the cat for you. Yeah. A lot of those walking skills we did earlier to add another level of difficulty as you're doing them, take your favorite stuffed animal or beanie baby and put it on your head. Boom. That means you have to try and keep your head up so we're not staring, oh sorry doggy, right down at the floor. So Coach Becky is going to demonstrate some T-arm passe walk without dropping. This one's kind of hard because I want to check my passe. Check your passe. Sorry. Oh, your kitty almost took it. Oh, I can do my pivot turn. Ooh, pivot turn. Okay. All right. Very good, Coach Becky. Another thing that you can do is take your animals and put them on the floor. Oh, gosh. Let's try that. Oh, man. What are you going to do to our animals, Coach Becky? Well, I don't definitely don't want to jump on them. Oh, gosh. But don't jump on our animals. I could try jumping forward over oh. that. So, remember our letter I arms? We're going to try our letter I arms and see if we can. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dear. Oh, that poor dog. Oh my gosh, one more dog. Oh, I did it. Oh, and I didn't, I didn't squish any animals. No animals got squished in the making of this video. Now that was kind of easy for me. So if that was easy for you, you could try jumping over two animals at a time, or maybe even three. Or maybe jumping over the animals on one foot. One foot. And balance on that one foot. How about sideways? Oh man. You could do it backwards. Woo! And make sure when you do this, you're using your stuffed animals and not your real, not real, your real animals. animals. Because <laughs> if you do squish these guys a little bit, that's okay. They'll pop right but back to life. Don't be squishing your real animals. <laughs> no they might not appreciate you. that as much. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. <laughs> All right. Um, what else can we do? So, ooh, I know some of you guys like to jump rope or mm -hmm. have a jump rope. If you can jump rope on the floor, or actually even if you can't yet. You could try jump roping on the beam. Put it on the beam. Jump, jump over. Jump Swing it over your head. Jump, jump over. Swing it over your head. Another version of this, can you hear me the hula hoop coaching hand? If you guys have a hula hoop, you can also do jump roping with a hula hoop. Swing it over your head. Jump through. Swing it over your head. Jump through. Like that. Thank you. This is more challenges. Right. Another challenge is see if you can hula hoop as you walk on your line oh, or as you walk. This is all you uh, need. I'm not good at hula hooping. <laughs> I'm really bad at hula hooping actually. Okay. So I'm going to try it on a line first because I have a feeling if I can't do it on a line, I probably can't do it on a beat. So most of you guys are probably a lot better at this than I am. So I'm going to do my best here. Hey! I got man, like two steps. a step and a half. That's, I gave you two. Good job. I'm being supportive. Try. Being supportive. Try one more time. I know we've got some good hula hoopers out there too, so I definitely bet they would rock it at this one. I Way would, better than me. If you do this, definitely let us know because we want to see. So this is an this is an awesome one. All right. So we've also got we talked about like the buckets and the Ooh, water bottles. That's right. So you can put them. I'll use our our line here as an example. So I'm just kind of putting these in a little bit staggered um, on the side of what we would consider our beam. And as you walk down, maybe I'm doing my passe and I'm turning my knee out to the side, touching my phone, like coming it. back, 
passe, touch my phone, or you could do arabesque, lift it over, arabesque, lift it over, any sort of combination that you can think of. I know a lot of people love bear walks. Ooh, bear walks on the beam. You can bear walk down our so beam to touch your foot. Bones. Or your hand. Or your hand. Yeah. Touch. There's another idea for what you can do. The cone soft. Cool. So yeah, you could use the cones as markers for where you want to change your arm position. So maybe we do relevant going letter I, letter T, letter Y, and beach ball. Seeing if I can almost do a little routine. A little mini routine. Yeah. I like it. Alright. Well, so oh, I think that's kind of all we have for today, that's right? That's all we got for this video. Um, yeah. So that's a lot of balance beam at home. Like we said at the beginning, you don't need a beam to do balance beam. Right. Awesome. Alright, cool. So if you guys liked this video, please share it, give it a like, uh, comment if you can. Um, and then also if you do any of these activities, be sure to post yourself doing them. Um, and tag virtual MHG so that we can see you guys um, yep, doing those activities and um, share them with us. So um, We have lots of content on Facebook, lots yep. of content on Instagram, on our YouTube channel. Um, check out our webpage to see if we have any contact there. Yeah. And we hope to see you guys soon. Yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.